Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. I really appreciate you joining me today and this story comes from Liverpool and the story broke yesterday. It's about Sam Walker. If you don't know who Sam Walker is, he's a career criminal and his life has actually been well documented in that regard. He documents it quite well himself. He's got his own YouTube channel, he's got his own Twitter and Instagram as well. Sam Walker's jail term has been increased for arranging for police officers' cars to be attacked and set fire to while he was behind bars in a Manchester prison. The 37-year-old was in Strangeways prison when he threatened officers at HMP Durham. Soon after he was transferred, Walker was originally from Liverpool and he was jailed at Durham Crown Court for another 18 months after he admitted six offences, including conspiracy to commit criminal damage. He was also made subject to a restraining order preventing him from contacting four named prison officers and a 10-year criminal behaviour order to stop him from intimidating prison staff. When he appeared in court back in February, he was in court for the damage of 14 cars belonging to prison officers. Sean Dryden, the prosecutor, said that Walker was found to have a mobile phone when he was brought into strange ways in February. Two days later, after the phone was found hidden in the hem of his dressing gown when his cell was searched, because he was found with a phone in breach of prison rules, he was told he would be put on basic regime and he became abusive to the prison guards. Mr Dryden, the prosecutor, said that Walker told staff that he had a lot of kids outside waiting to do whatever he wanted and he'd find out the officer's addresses and he would send people round. The same evening, four men broke into the car park at the prison. The court was told there was £6,000 worth of damage and the next day, Walker told the prison guard that the people on the outside had wanted to burn the prison officer's house down, but he told them not to. And he thought of himself as a good guy for that reason. Walker was transferred to another prison and the next month he became argumentative with another prison guard, throwing a metal flask at him and the guard deflected it. The court heard that Walker was restrained and suffered a head injury. Walker later told a different guard who was aware of what had happened at Strangeways that his house would be burnt down. The court heard that Walker's got 48 convictions and 142 offences, including conspiracy to supply crack cocaine and heroin. His defence solicitor Caroline Abraham said that he had ADHD and was first convicted at 14 years old. They said that he planned to return to Liverpool when he was released from prison and had work lined up in the security industry at different sites. And if that is the case, then we've got to wish him all the best when he does come out. Sam Walker definitely has a story to tell. And he was jailed originally back in 2008 in his early 20s. He was part of a gang that was selling heroin and crack on the streets of Halton. The police allege they earned up to £2,500 a day and in their county lines that ran through Widness and Runcorn. The police caught them with £12 million worth of drugs along with luxury cars, cash and jewellery also. Walker served half of that sentence but was repeatedly hauled before the courts for a catalogue of crimes in 2012 and 2014. Some of them were violence, firearms, counterfeit cash and also multiple driving offences. He became known for his outbursts in court and brandished sentences a stitch up and slammed one hearing as a kangaroo court. In 2013, he was cleared of his involvement in a plot to smuggle drugs and phones into a Doncaster prison while he was an inmate there. And he unveiled a t-shirt that said not guilty during his court case. They later go on to say that his brazen disregard for authority even saw him leave a threatening voice note on a police officer's mobile phone. And this also gave him an extension of his prison sentence. In 2013, he's believed to have clashed with Liverpool's Stephen French, also known as the devil in a furious prison row. In a letter, Walker said that the underworld taxman was a bully and he accused him of hurting prisoners at HMP Alt Course. In 2014, his notoriety grew even more when he threatened to end the career of football star Ross Barkley. In a dispute over a woman that they both apparently dated at the same time, the former Everton midfielder was visited by the police but declined to make a complaint about the message that he received when Walker told him to inbox me you little rat or I will end your football career. 
Sam Walker spent the vast majority of his adult life in prison and he repeatedly insists that he wanted to be turn his back on crime and even spoke about writing books for children. In 2016, he was handed a 20-month sentence again for a 100-mile-an-hour police chase where he had a verbal battle with one of Liverpool's most formidable judges and this earned him more time behind bars. During the trial, he waved a copy of the Liverpool Echo containing a story about a sex offender that had been spared jail and he refused to apologise to the judge and was given an extra three months for contempt of court. Walker says that Nazis come to this court and they get away with it. That's why when I see him in jail, I punch the heads in. Every chance I get, I install justice because you don't. He said he didn't give a fuck about the sentence. The judge rejected the notion that there was any conspiracy by the police with paedophiles. Walker's sentence was reduced after appeal to 23 months and he sent a letter of apology to the judge. In 2017, when he came out of prison, he took eight homeless people and put them up in a hotel for two nights. Not long after his release, he said that he wanted people to understand that a home is not something that everybody has. In April 2018, he posted a video and this went viral everywhere. He avoided prison and basically ran away to Sierra Leone. He showed people how he evaded the authorities' capture by hiring a helicopter, flying abroad and then basically navigating his way to Sierra Leone. And he spent several months and made a documentary in Sierra Leone where he provided water and wells for the local community. Guys named Belgium are packing some serious artillery here. Yeah. Laying 14 hour boat ship on this now. Yeah. Come to come and meet me there. Undercover Mor Moroccan police. We've been um, transporting a prisoner. Where I'm going to, there is free time there. Yeah. Clean, fresh water. Gandhi, what about that? Nice, clean, fresh water. And that's that's all these people need just fresh, clean water. It's literally how simple it is. You just dug a hole right for half a mile, connected a pipe in, put the water pipe in. Why can't these chalices do this? All they do then is put the soil back over the piping and then just connects directly through to the slums, which is what should have been done 50 years ago. So big up to him for that and that was actually a very good thing to do and he did make a point of saying that charity should be doing more if this is what he could do in one day. So it seems that Sam Walker's story is far from over but I do hope that he can get his life in order when he comes out of prison and hopefully find something constructive that he can do. He seems to be enjoying any charity work so if he could get involved in that that could potentially help him to stay on the straight and narrow. So I really appreciate you joining me for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Please don't forget to follow us online as well at Scar City Studios on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Peace.